I'm standing inside the friary of St. Anthony's Basilica, in front of the room that once belonged to Father Placido Cortese, one of the confessors of the Basilica, the general director of the Messenger of St. Anthony, a friend to many, and soon to become a silent hero of the Italian resistance movement. His contributions have not gone unnoticed. On February the 8th, 2018, the President of the Italian Republic, Sergio Mattarella, awarded him the Gold Medal of Civil Merit, honoring him as a shining example of high Christian values and dedication to the service of civil society. Guided by the teachings of Jesus and the Franciscan spirit, Father Cortese, with the covert support of the Pontifical Delegate of the Basilica, began, after September the 8th, 1943, to assist those facing mortal dangers, Jews, defectors and allied prisoners of war. Aided by his position as a priest, he organized a network of safe havens, food supplies and escape routes, devoting himself entirely to protecting many lives in danger. Father Cortese helped build a secret network that operated in absolute secrecy every movement a message had to be carefully protected because even a single mistake could lead to capture or worse even worse father cortese worked with a small group of trusted collaborators all united by the mission to save innocent lives using the basilica as a coordination point he quietly organized the resources and shelters while continuing his pastoral duties. To him, this mission was a profound expression of God's love, a way to bring hope to those facing terrible risks. Most often it was here, in the confessional in front of the chapel of St. Anthony's Relics, that Father Placido would meet with his most trusted collaborators, including the Martini sisters. Pretending to be penitents going to confession, these collaborators used coded language to communicate their requests. I have five room, for instance, meant there were five people needing help to escape and requiring money and documents to reach Switzerland. The collaborators often prepare these documents using photos left by pilgrims at the same tomb. Despite the growing risks, Father Cortese persisted in his mission. He knew that every day brought a great danger, but uh, he accepted this reality with deep serenity, certain that his life had a greater purpose uh, than his own safety. He seemed to draw strength from uh, those people he helped, inspired by their courage amid immense tragedy. However, his growing role in the resistance movement was soon to attract the attention of the Gestapo. On October the 8th, 1944, Father Cortese was betrayed by someone he had helped who handed him over to the Gestapo through an expedient. That same day, the friar's porter informed Father Placido that two people were seeking his assistance and had left their car parked in front of the basilica. Father Placido followed the porter to the meeting point, entered the car and waved goodbye. From that moment on, nothing more was heard of him. And this is the spot where Father Placido was abducted. And right here, to honor the tragic event, on January the 21st, 2021, the city of Padua placed a Schopenstein, a stumbling stone, with his name on it. It was a moment of deep significance for us friars and for the entire city, as Father Placido Cortese was commemorated for the first time at the very place from which he set out toward his passion 
and death. Arrested in Padua, Father Placido was taken to Trieste, to the infamous bunker in Piazza Oberdan, where a grim torture chamber awaited him. The Gestapo torturers knew he possessed precious information due to his uh, connection with both the Italian and the Slovenian resistance. Information that could have uh, dismantled entire networks and led to the captures of many people. They presented him with uh, a terrible choice. Speak out and betray his contacts, putting them in grave danger, or remain silent and endure unimaginable suffering. Father Cortese chose silence. For him, this was more than an act of uh, resistance. It was a, a final and profound witness of faith and charity. Through his silence and the sacrifice of his own life, he would save many innocent people. Father Placido's courage and dedication proved that true love can change the lives of many people and bring hope even in the darkest times. He was fully aware of what he was getting into, but he still chose to take the risk. After all, loving like Christ means putting aside one's own safety for the sake of others, even if it means facing death.